guys, we're going to teach you how to clone yourself. Um, there's a lot of ways to do it. Some harder, some easier, but some are more expensive. This is the cheapest way. I use Sony Vegas 7, which is quite complicated, but I think it's the best one. You can also use Adobe After Effects. Just make sure whatever program you use has layers, not like Windows, you can make sure and like that. Oh yeah, and also, um, uh, go to Google, search movie editing software, and I think it's the second link, www.top10reviews.com. Alright, hey guys, um, you're going to need a camera or a webcam and a tripod or a stand to put it on. Make sure, because it's not you can't move it at all, it has to be in the same position. And a video editing software that has layers. I use Sony Vegas 7, you can also use Adobe After Effects or any other those ones. Um, basically what it is, is two separate videos and a halfway line and um, got to just combine the videos together. So the lighting has to be the same, which means um, the camera has to be set on manual, you can't have automatic lighting settings because then it won't work if you see the line halfway, you can see the colour difference. And um, so basically what we have to do is just do two videos and yeah, combine them together. I'll give you a demonstration now. I'll, I'll just act, I'll pretend that my clothes come from back there and come and sit in this chair, so I'll just act right now. Right. Alright there, that's my first scene, now to do another one, with me walking up there, down to here. I did it quite, because like, mine's looking at each other, I have to make it like, perfect timing, but I won't bother doing that right now. So I'll just start the next scene. Once yeah. change that means. Alright, that was my second scene. I've changed shirts as you can see, so this looks better. Um, I'll, we'll get to the video editing now. Alright guys, this is the editing part of the tutorial. Start off by getting into your software, I use Sony Vegas 7, and they're all m much the same. If you can't find what I'm saying, just go help, and go um, con uh, index. Doesn't matter what program you're using, you should be able to find layers and all that stuff and find out where it is. Alright, first, open your video. Alright, because I did instructions as well, I'll just cut them out. And what you're going to do is cut out, you make it into two separate videos, and delete the parts which you don't need, like when you're setting the camera up, turning it off when you're finished and all that stuff. Alright, so, I'm just going to play it. Oh, hang on, it's still loading. Sorry, the computer's going a bit slow right now. It's loading at the bottom, 25%. Alright. Now this is the instructions telling what you need, the lighting and all that. Now I'll get to the part where I start acting. Not really acting, but yeah. Where is it? Oh, there you go. Okay, now to move frames on the key keyboard, click left and right. You can move back or hold it down. Okay. Alright, now once you've got up to the part that you want to delete, push on the keyboard S and that'll split. Uh, and then click on the part which you don't want, and click delete, and just drag this over. Alright, now watch it and just wait until he's finished acting. In your case, changes to the next scene, next person. Alright. Alright, just split again, yes. And now I'll delete this part. Ok, 
and probably won't get the timing right when he looks at him. But it doesn't really matter. I'll show you the end product at the end, right? <coughs> Alright, split again, delete. Now, what you have to do is make sure they're the same size. First, drag the other one underneath it, like that. It'll make a new thing. I like to make them closer. Okay, now I'm going to have to edit this one to make it smaller. So I'll just do that now. Just got to play around with it and get it working. What the hell? I'll spit it about there. Alright, that should be better now. Okay. Alright, now you've done that, and then make sure they're the same size. Go to event pan slash crop, <coughs> which is a little square on your video in the middle, middle icon. Right now this thing will come up. Yeah, make sure your timeline is all the way at the start. So when you drag the timeline you can see what you do. Now you need to drag the box over here up to there. Right, and in the bottom right hand corner in the preview you can see that it's shrinking. And that's the part you select. Alright, so make sure that your person doesn't go outside it. And my head goes outside that time, so I'll move it over a bit more. Because if it goes outside it his handle or Whatever it will be, it will disappear. Oops. Right, once you've got the right size, get out of that one. And do it the same to the next one. Event pan slash crop. Now make sure it's at the start again. And just... Cut it down. And get out of it. Alright, now what you want to do is on the left side it says track motion each of them have them except for the audio now click on the first track motion and this is the position so as you can see they're both in the middle on top of each other you want to move it out so you just hold you just use left and right in your keyboard because if you drag it sometimes it goes up and down and stuffs up get out of it track motion next one make sure the timeline's at the start again once again Alright, the lighting's not very good in this one, but it's only a demonstration. And then you play it. He's not going to look at him at the right time because I haven't actually practiced, haven't like put it done, done it properly. There it is. There we go. And if you um want like one to talk to the other, you have to get the timing right and practice for about you know five to ten minutes or something like that. Make sure the lighting is not on automatic and the lights don't turn off halfway or anything like that because then it will be a big gap. I think my camera was set on automatic by accident that time. I'm not sure. But um, just keep playing around with it. You can add video effects and transitions and all that stuff and headings to make it look look really good. And if you've got any questions, just um, post them on YouTube and I'll answer them probably the same day or something like that because I check them all the, all the time. And um, good luck with your videos. All right. See ya.